How's it going? It's a cute neighborhood. It's actually not that bad. I mean, it's old, but it's not that bad. The whole area right here is brick, and it's just, it looks like a creepy cabin. Maybe we just do, like, new siding. <sighs> oh, oh, come on. Oh, Stop. Yeah. It's a stinky one. Stop. Here's the first thing oh I noticed, besides the smell, we have walls everywhere. Wall, 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 wall. Oh my god, this is really bad. OK, so right off the bat, this is the entry. This, this should be opened up. Well, look at this. We got a fireplace. We have an eating area here, so I wonder if there's a way to take this wall and this push it back. This is the freaking kitchen. It's so dark, and it's at the very back of the house all alone. I mean, it is really dark in here, but look at the size of the kitchen. Like, you have an area right here, so we can open this up. This will be open to the family room. To remodel this kitchen is probably 10 to 12,000. Laundry room, it's, it's in good condition to me, <laughs> just new flooring. And then the bathroom is just a toilet and a sink, maybe a couple thousand. Like, so it's not bad at all. OK. And like I said, they're asking 550, the comps are 750. OK, that's good. All right? Yeah. Huh? Huh? OK, just try not to pass Ooh, out. This is the stinkiest room of the house. Oh. Another fireplace. Once this is opened up, we'd get more natural light in. This paneling would be gone. We'll put up new drywall, retile the fireplace. You just stepped in poo and you didn't even care. Yeah, it's fine. OK. All right, let's keep going. I wonder how many animals lived here. All right, let's go right. OK, so in here, this is a weird layout. Like, the shower is way too small. So I feel like we need to move the shower somewhere else. Well, I'd love to see the shower over here on this back wall, but the problem is this is the window, and the exterior of the house is all brick. Well, can't you somehow get rid of the window? Well, yeah, we can get rid of the window, but then we have to add brick on the outside to match. All right, so we can gut this bathroom. We're probably looking at about 8,000, 9,000. All right, go let's go this way. Green, green carpet room. No way, this bedroom has a walk-in closet. Look at that. OK. This bedroom number two. OK, interesting. Well, decent-sized closet, actually. So there's two of them. OK, so here's the thing. This is a, well, why do they have two huge community bathrooms? There's one down the hall. There's one right here. And look at the size it's of this bathroom. It's an old house. Oh my god, what happened there? Oh my gosh, what's going on in this poor house? Looking at this house, we see a half bathroom off the kitchen and two full bathrooms off the hallway, but there's no primary ensuite. And that's common in houses this age, but today's buyers want a primary ensuite. OK, so th that is a problem, actually. And we have a pretty big house with a good price range, and people are going to expect a private bathroom. Yeah. If we closed off the entry right there to that bathroom, we can make the entry to the, ba the bathroom on this wall right here. At least there's two decent-sized bathrooms, and we can figure it out. Backyard. Jeez, so sterile and like bright. It's, it's such a contrast from the inside. It's so dark and then it's just like blinding. Oh my god. This gosh. pool, we're gonna have to replaster, retile. Oh, it's a swamp. I don't know. Well, how much do you think it's gonna cost to fix this house up? Including the backyard? Yeah. 120. Mm, let's see what Jeff says. All right, so I think we can probably move a bathroom around. But as far as taking out some of those walls, I really don't know, man, because there's a lot of different ways that this roof changes direction. We may have to look into it and see if something's bearing, non-bearing, whatever. OK. What do you think it's going to cost? As of right now, you guys are looking about 120. That include the backyard? That does not include the pool. Oh. And I need to get somebody out here to look at the roof. So that can get like really expensive. <laughs> This deal just became less of a deal. They're asking 550. Let's just say hypothetically, we got it for 500. Comps are as high as 750. No, that'd be great. All right, it's all for five. Yeah. All right. All right I'll lock I'm gonna go wash my shoes. It turns out everything in this house is bearing to a certain point. Everything. Load bearing, load bearing, load bearing, load bearing, load bearing. Let me ask you this then. How much would it cost to open this up right here? Well over five grand. What do you want to do? I think we should do that. How much would it be to open up these two walls right here? Again, that wall's bearing also. What? We've got kickers that drop down on there. So how much would that be? Expensive. Over 10 grand. OK.
Jeffrey. What are you working on back there? He's going to tell us he has great news, the pool equipment works, and it's going to be a great day. Well, I'm yeah. leaning towards at least a new filter. You think? But maybe all new equipment. What do you think? Worst case scenario, five grand? Pretty close to it. That smell is it's, it's telling <laughs> it's you that the five grand needs to be spent. All right. I want to talk about this pool because mm. it is very apparent that we need to replaster. Oh, yeah. I have a question. If we can clean the existing tile to make it look new. No. What's really wrong with that pool tile? Oh, stop. OK, it's blue, it's brown, it has it's, a pattern. It was once blue and brown, and now it's basically white. That's going to cost what? Eight? Six? Probably closer to ten. Ten thousand dollars just to fix this pool plus new equipment? At least it's not one of those pools we have to spend money on to bury. Push yeah, all right, retile it. It's ugly. It does look cute. It's really cute. It's come a long way. It has. Look at that roof. I love the brick, how we did the gray and the white. It looks really pretty. No, the house is super cute. I, I really think the buyers are going to like it. So we'll find out. Well, let's see it. Oh, beautiful. It looks so pretty. Wow. Before, remember, you walk in this room, we had this wall right here. This room felt really, really small. This came out awesome. I mean, look at the size of this kitchen. For this size house, this is a huge kitchen. Look how nice this backsplash is. Look at the beams. But look at this is all open now. In this house, we did like a lot of little details, doing like different paint colors, the beams. Overall, it's, it's such a nice house. I love this floor. This room is huge. Like, this is a big room. I love the fireplace again. The dining room's nice. Look how big this house is. It's really nice. Like, honestly, I think buyers are going to come in and fall in love with this house. It's a big backyard. It's come a long way. OK, honestly, though, what do you think of the actual look with the blue tile? It looks good. It's nice. I like the patio cover. It's an entertaining yard. You got the pool, you got the patio area, you got a little lounge area. The new equipment paid off. We have a clean pool. It looks good back here. Yeah, it does. It's a really nice size room. And then the shower tile looks beautiful. Like, I like that you see it right when you walk in. Oh my gosh, that shower is nice. I forgot that there was even a window there when we walked up. It looks so natural. This is a nice size bedroom. Yeah, this is a good bedroom. Yeah, it's nice. Bathroom. It's a good size bathroom. I like how it has a double sinks. Little farmhouse vibe. It's a modern farmhouse. Bedroom number three. Nice bedrooms. I like how this one has a view of the pool. Fourth bedroom, they made this an office. I like the staging, and I like how this bedroom has access to the yard. That cute. is cute. So the construction took way longer than we thought. And since we bought the house, the real estate market has done this. When we, when we first bought the house, the rehab bid was $120,000. OK? Obviously, we spent way more than $120,000. With staging, we spent $170,000. That's a lot of money we spent. Yeah. Um, so 170000 with the staging and construction. When we go to sell, we have 30000 in commission and closing costs. So our break even is going to be seven twenty five. dollars Okay, when we first bought the house, the comps were seven fifty, dollars but they weren't fixed up. Okay. Okay, so recent comps are selling between eight fifty dollars and eight seventy five. dollars So here's where I'm at. We have an awesome lot. We have a great floor plan. We open up the space. We killed the design. We have a pool. I think we list at eight ninety nine nine. Wow, this seems so hot, right? <laughs> I know, right? Twenty two hundred square foot, Whittier, California, for nine hundred thousand. But I like honestly, I look around at this house. I feel like we're gonna get multiple offers. Eight ninety nine nine. Let's give it a shot.
All right, I think the house is great. I think it's gonna sell. Nine hundred thousand dollars. Nine hundred thousand. God, the market's on fire. After a couple weeks on the market, we received multiple offers and we sold the house for nine hundred and sixty thousand.